Hello and welcome to the English Football Podcast. Spurs have bottled it yet again. A 2-0 lead at the Etihad, absolutely bottled it and they lost 4-2. And so now City have squeezed the gap to five points with Arsenal. It wasn't a very good first half from City though. Obviously the two goals conceded were sort of right before half-time. And Pep was frustrated, as you could think he was, because... He, his team didn't play well and conceded two goals, but they obviously got it back with Mares absolutely tearing them apart. Two goals and two assists. Spurs crumbled. They crumbled like a Bono biscuit who crumbled. Yeah, anyway. Um, 2 0 up. Absolutely bottled it. 4 2 loss, basically. Uh, goals from Kulusevski and from Royale get them to a lead just before half time. And the question is, is Conte getting closer to being sacked? We did talk about this in another episode. You know, is Conte going to leave Spurs? I mean, it's always hard against City, but it's you know they've they've beaten them for quite a lot of times now, uh, Spurs. But you know they're. Couldn't this time at the Etihad as well. There was that 3-2 last season, which was a very good game. <sighs> Time's ticking for him. You know, he's he's losing quite a few. Obviously, maybe you'd probably think City would win, but not in that manner. Not in not going 2-0 up and then absolutely bottling the game in the second half. They played like they did against Arsenal in the second half. I mean, they've not put a good performance in both games. North London derby and... Uh, against City here but you know they need to sharpen up and they need to start winning games because I know it's tough against Arsenal Man City's the first and second but you know you need to put a good performance in at least you know even if you know if if they would have lost 2-0 to Arsenal but they put in a good performance and you know they they create tons of chances and had a good game for their players, then I, I don't think we'll be talking about this. Obviously, the first two goals for them, shocker from Edison, although I suppose Walker's body shape wasn't right to receive the ball, so he maybe had to quickly change to Rodri. Rodri wasn't ready as well. And Kudazewski, was it Kudazewski? Oh, someone got through, Kudazewski scored. So... And that was just too easy for him, to be honest. Typical Haaland goal, though, for 2-2. Another assist for uh, Mares that game. Two goals, two assists, as I said. Obviously, that's that's what you have to do isn't it? as a striker. It's headed across to you, you head it in the net. I mean, it was a tap-in, but still, it's another goal to his tally. 23 or 22 now. I've, lo- I've lost count. <laughs> I don't know what it is now. Poor performance though by Lloris, and it was last game. He's had shockers both games, and Spurs just fell apart as soon as the first half, second half started. Was it was it the pressure? You know, like oh, we need to. I mean, it, it it's fifty fifty because you want to beat City, but then you'd also not want to let your North London rivals go eight points clear at the top of the table. So, you know, it's... Although that's not why they lost, you know. I'd, I think Spurs fans weren't too frustrated with it because now Arsenal aren't too higher, like, more... Well, easier to win the league eight points, isn't it? So, it's it, it's not working at the moment with Conte. He's He's just... He needs to be consistently winning, especially with Spurs. I mean, they're not going to get top four if this carries on. His his players aren't playing for him, and they could drop down the table. You know, Brighton have two games in hand on them, and they're three points behind them. They could go fifth and, you know, leave them in the dust. Same, I think, with Fulham and other games like that. But anyway, we'll see. See what happens uh, in a few weeks with Spurs and maybe Conte will get sacked, maybe he won't. Do you think he should get sacked? I p- 
probably don't because I don't know who they'll get that's better than Conte and that'll turn it around. Thanks for watching. You've been watching the English Football Podcast. Goodbye.